waiting on my flight to Vegas right now. It's, I don't know, like 7 o'clock at night. It's pretty late. Um, the flight is a nighttime flight and I spend the whole day packing and everything, which is kind of weird because I think normally I leave in the morning, but I'm waiting on my flight. My sister's walking around somewhere because she is competing with her friends uh, on Fitbit, which is like that step counter thing. So she's walking around somewhere. Um, <clears throat> I thought, thought that I heard like six or seven different crying babies and then realized that there was one woman with a crying baby who was just circling me, like literally just walking back and forth, trying to get her kid to calm down. <laughs> That's like, now I have a headache because there's this just like screaming child. Um, but I'm pretty excited about CES because I've never been. Um, I'm nervous because they gave me my schedule last night and I'm not really sure what I should expect. Uh, it'll, I think, be very busy and very different from any of the other conventions, really, that I've gone to so far. But I'm looking forward to it and I'm just kind of excited to get to the hotel and crash because I had like half a cup of coffee today so I'm pretty exhausted. So, ready to get to the hotel and just hang out and then I've got to get up super early tomorrow morning for the first day of CES. Okay, it is like 7.30 on Friday? It's Friday today, right? Um, we're standing at the, is it Thursday? Oh god, it's Thursday. Okay, so we're staying at the Mandalay Bay right now. This music is driving me crazy. It's 7.30 in the morning. It is too early for driving cars into bridges or loving anything right now. We're walking through the casino because the Starbucks is on the other side. So we're gonna get coffee and then jump on the shuttle probably over to the convention center. I gotta get my badge still, so I think my interview, my first interview is at 11.30ish, so I've got plenty of time, um, but they wanted me to be there early so we could do some setup stuff, and uh, then it's time for CES. couple hours of interviews I got to meet the senior VP of software at Intel which is really cool because he's one of the guys who's kind of behind the Intel streamers bootcamp thing that I've been doing for a while now and I'm exhausted already because I've been standing for the past two hours it's a lot quieter over here which is nice because the Intel booth is pretty loud um, they had some really cool like basketball stuff going on and they're showing off some of their technology um, I think my sister and I are gonna get lunch because I'm starving. Didn't really have breakfast, of course, so uh, now I'm just kind of walking around and I think I'm done for a little while. There's a Razor announcement later that I'm probably, I'm either gonna go to the Razor announcement or I know I'm interviewing someone after the Razor announcement. Uh, so I guess I think that's the last thing that I really have scheduled for today. It's a really weird convention because it's a lot more of like adults and technology and not so much about video games, which is what I'm used to. Um, there's a lot of focus on VR, a lot of focus on like 8K TVs have been here and that's pretty, I mean, I don't, I don't, like most people don't even have a 4K TV and they're already coming out with like 8K TVs. So um, it's been an interesting experience. It's definitely really cool. It's just very, very, very different. <laughs> We are outside of CES right now. My sister and I just were hanging out on a, a bench. We, I, I wanted to sit because I've been standing for pretty much all day. And we've been walking around a lot. There seems some really cool things. There's a lot of robotic stuff. Um, it seems like there's a ton of VR. Like Everybody's really focusing on VR right now. And um, autonomous driving I've seen a lot of. So there's some pretty cool stuff. Um, definitely there was some like robot arms that were like picking up things and like organizing them and stuff. And that was awesome. And I got to try some of the VR earlier. And now I'm just kind of waiting. I have my last interview in about an hour. So hanging out, just checking out some of the stuff uh, around CES. Yeah, so I'm like trying to fill it in
done with my last interview of the day, we got to talk to um, one of the Razer guys about their uh, triple monitor laptop, and that thing is awesome. I got to play on a like working prototype that they had in the back, and it's so crazy like to have that many monitors. And they're all going to be 4K monitors is the plan, so um, it was kind of overwhelming. It was very cool, and now I am done for the day. I don't know. They wanted me to like try and upload a video tonight. I am gonna just wait and see how long it takes them to get the edits done and then um, I gotta be back here tomorrow morning at like 8 or 8.30. I don't know yet. They haven't told me what exact time I need to be here so it's gonna be pretty early so I think I'm just gonna go home and go back to my hotel, kind of relax a little bit and I think my sister and I are gonna have dinner and then I'll be back tomorrow morning bright and early. It is day two of CES and I just finished up a couple interviews. Uh, it took me an hour to get here this morning. It told, only took 20 minutes yesterday on the shuttle. Today it took an hour. It was a nightmare. And um, I did one, two, three interviews already today. We're doing, we're on our way right now to the GoPro booth. I'm gonna do a GoPro interview and then we break for lunch. And then I have, I think, I'm gonna go to the BK keynote and BK is the, um, He's the CEO of Intel, so that's like the big one. And then I've got two more interviews right after that. And um, I think that's it for today. And then we've got a full day of interviews tomorrow as well. So it's still very busy, very busy, but um, I've got to see a lot of really cool stuff today, uh, which you guys will see in the, the CEO videos, or not CEO, the CES videos. Um, but there's, there's just been so much cool stuff here, so I'm excited to also talk to these guys at GoPro and then get to walk around a little bit more. Of the convention and I'm exhausted. I'm just at the convention center for a second because I have to go by one of the booths that I missed yesterday, or not missed, but I told someone I would be back. No one's really here yet. It's like, what, 8.30? The thing doesn't open until 10. It's 8.40, okay. And then I have to go over to the plaza. Today is the last day, but I still have like five interviews to do. And I'm already exhausted, um, <laughs> but Today's the last day, and I'm really excited to go home after this. I'm gonna go in, find the guy that I was supposed to talk to, and then get another taxi over to the Palazzo and do the rest of my interviews today. Today was an insane day. It was the last day of CES for me, and um, I had, I don't even know how many interviews, I think maybe eight, seven or eight. We did a lot of shooting today, and a lot of it was at different hotels, which meant that it was a lot of walking and traveling to all the different hotels. And now I'm trying to figure out how to get a taxi so that I can go back to my hotel and uh, relax because I'm exhausted. It's a lot of mental effort and energy trying to talk to people and you know formulate questions while they're talking and it's something that I've never really done before but I had a great time and I wish that I had seen more of CES. I feel like I saw maybe 40% of everything because everything is all spread out at all the different hotels and I did get to walk the show floor a little bit but it's just a huge convention with like a lot of really cool technology. I'm really excited to go home. I feel just so tired. Just mentally and physically I'm exhausted. So I'm really excited to get home and to stream and to go back to kind of my regular routine. But I'm glad that I did it and I'm glad that I came and I hope you guys enjoy all the videos.